welcome back to Contact for the Nintendo DS. Last time, I went to this place, and you know what? Oh, I also didn't get back my, uh... Well, that's unfortunate, but I'm sure we'll be fine. I should probably go get that, actually. Anyway, last this time, <laughs> we went into all these pyramids and whatnot, and it seems I need to dig everywhere. Fortunately, I didn't have my monk's outfit on, so I went back and got it. Fortunately, I neglected to get my decals re, uh... Refact refractored, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's also grab a coconut. This next area is kind of a pain in the ass, I will tell you that much so far. Although it may be easier as the monk. As some of my, me some of my viewers have already noted, I have more HP as the monk. Let's go ahead and go talk to the professor and then I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Don't need the rest. I need you to give me more stickers. Thank you. That'll be handy later. It's easy to get back to the ship right now. But like I was saying, if I go into here and we go and look at our stats, uh, currently if you look up here, our health has been boosted by 21. Some of that's decals, but a lot of that actually is the monk's outfit. We also have a lot more earth resistance, which will be handy inside the pyramids. Seems like a lot of things do earth attacks for whatever reason. Go and avoid the snacks. I don't know why you're so amped up to fight me, Spider, but if you want to go down, you will. Untouchable. Okay, touchable. You did one damage. And you also gave me a grasshopper for some reason. I don't know why. So good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining me. For another early morning stream. Avoid you stupid things. I don't know why you're here. Go ahead and meander over here. We'll go back into the pyramid. Last time we got the Felio's uh, symbol or something to that effect. It allowed us to go into this particular, uh, this particular pyramid. There we go. Here we got skeletons with clubs. What else we got? We also have some, like, little demon things we'll see in just a moment. The phallic symbol? I don't think so. Yeah, we have some mummies, of course, because this is a pyramid. Yeah, we have those floating little rascals. Alright, mate. Excuse me. Go ahead and avoid you if I can. Thank you. Thankfully, they're not overly aggressive. I actually would like to look around here a little bit. Because I remember there were several places we could dig, but we couldn't dig at that particular moment because I didn't have on this particular costume. <laughs> Please don't aggress towards my person. It's very rude. Uh oh. Pardon me. Pardon me. Damn, you are just bolting all over the place. Okay, forget you. Since you keep trying to set my ass on fire, I don't really care for that. Uh, sir, madam. Alright. You've sealed your fate. I got you jostling, so it means you can't attack. Good job. Yagami, will you please assault the, the gentleman? Let's see, maybe you'll do it now. There you go. Sometimes that game, this game does that. <laughs> gold, son! Sure, I will take a load of gold, why not? Oh, now you want to run, huh? Huh? After I kill your friend, now you, you're not so full of shit, are you? Piece of shit. <laughs> uh. It seems you're tough shit. We're sorry for, you know, our indiscretions. Let's see. Is there anything over here? There's just a little hidden balcony. Fantastic. We are plundering the booty. <laughs> all of a sudden, all of you are turning tail and running. That's good. Here we go. Do I want to dig here? Yes. You got a stone foot. I probably need these to save Christmas, I'm guessing. I also did get a new move-off camera. Oh, something's attacking me. Maybe I'll show it off. 
Not you. You. We have the cross-up, which will allow me to temporarily counter all physical attacks. How are you, piece of trap? That's one of our fist moves. Naturally attack me as a boss. I mean, that would make sense to me. In that it would happen. Now, let's avoid all of you. Okay, I believe, yeah. I was gonna say, down, down to our southeast over here is our save room. Let's go ahead and get healed up because these things really flip and hurt. Honestly, I wish I had done more grinding off camera. 3,000-year-old vintage chocolate wrapped in gold foil. Stop. A potion. My goodness. Such bounty. Skeeting in my direction. I don't care for that. These things are especially fucking obnoxious. As you can see, they do loads of damage. 24, 24, 33. Can you please murder ball this thing? Thank you. I was gonna say, time to go get healed again. Just go around him. Just go around him. Don't kill me, please. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it. Probably gonna throw down a save state in this room as it were a regular save, just for speed, since saves do take take a minute in this title, for sure. And since there is a good chance of dying here, these stupid sarcophagi trying to throw their spit wads at me. Everything else is fairly tame. Like, what are you? Come out here so we can actually see you. I think it's an Anubis. There we go. We got something there. Too bad I couldn't see it because the uh, background was over, well, the foreground was over everything. Defiantly blowing their loads. Yeah, there he is. Hey, the little guy. I'm gonna punch it. You're gonna make glowy eyes at me. Okay. So these guys are much less painful than those stupid sarcophaguses. Although they are doing enough damage to make me concerned. Okay, let's just avoid you things. Hello, bats. You better run, you little shit. Thankfully, you're still afraid. Very good. What? Ah, another place to dig. Let me guess, I'm gonna get an arm? A hand. A cutlass, uh, I think we had one of those for available in the last area. 18, swashbuggling on the high seas. Yeah. A noob is, because he sucks. Yeah. Oh, uh, shit. Head left. <laughs> no, I, I'm pretty sure it's at hand. 20% sure. Oh. Oh, hey guys. It's that kid. Did he come here all by himself? Hey there, Yagami. It looks like we meet again. I, <laughs> I hear you're strong. That's why. Le that's what Lester said anyway. Name's Bull Beatniks. I'm the, I'm the pilot of our high-tech spacecraft. The mechanic, too. What was the one who shot down your lab, too? Oh, that's good to know. Hey, Bull. Thanks for shooting down our shit. Appreciate it. Which didn't exactly solve our problems. I'm Nadia Kroll, and we're both cosmonauts. I don't believe you beat Lester. We have important business to do right now, though. We ain't gonna let some stupid kid like you Bull, we aren't authorized for anything like that. If 
you jeopardize this, there's no going back. But Nadia, we've got him cornered. Who's really gonna care if we snap him in half? You're worse than Lester. Up in your ivory tower telling everyone no. What if we never have this chance again? Lester's got his pride, what's your excuse? Stop it, Bull. Yagami, <laughs> Yagami can hear you, he's standing right there. Uh, what's going on, Yagami? Ooh. I only looked away from the monitor for a second. Ooh. Those two are both members of the Cosmonauts. Ooh. You need to find Mint, their leader. Ooh. And hurry! We need you out of the picture, kid. Guess I'm the only one who's willing to do it. Go on ahead, Nadia. I'll handle the consequences. The others, if the others be mad, then oh well. Or, or if they are gonna be mad, then oh well. All right, Bull. If you're sure about this, you know it. Now we can finally fight Ma Mano Imano. We're well, sorry, you have to pound your face in, but that's just how life is sometimes. Aha. Uh -huh. Sounds like a rough deal. I'll see you later, there, friend. Oh, okay. There is no escape, apparently. That's good. I love being locked into boss battles. I have no, you know, no way of knowing they'd be in here. That's the best. Let's go get some defense up. Let's get some more defense up. I'm not sure if these stack. I guess we'll check. Uh, there's my defense right there. Didn't look like it went up at all. Okay, we got full health. Okay. So much for all physical attacks. Go ahead and hit him with a body shot, interrupt his attacks. Can't do a body shot again yet. We already have that on. I could use rock. I don't think I'll use rock. Go ahead and use one of these. Uh, use this guy. I can't even go back to the ship right now. That's kind of rude. Mochi, get him! This has always been a portent of uh, success, right? Summoning Mochi. Yeah, Mochi. <laughs> one damage. <laughs> very good. I'm very proud of you. Well, we got coconuts and stuff. Those things are actually that great. 25 seconds. It, well, actually, that's pretty good. We can get more speed attack. Get him. Get him. Oh. Sometimes, like with Lester, I got him into a situation where he couldn't actually attack me back. Yep, like I'm pushing him now, so he can't actually attack me back, you piece of shit. <laughs> You think you're s I'm stuck in here with you? You're stuck in here with me, punk. That's right, bitch. Get fucked. I definitely believe you beat Lester now. I'm not sure if we're I'm not sure how we're gonna stop you, but we cosmonauts always think of something. Hang on, I gotta call HQ. Those are the rules. Why are we just letting him do this? Men won't be happy, but I don't have a choice. Mint, this is Bull Beatniks. I don't know why I'm telling you my full name. Maybe we have another bull. I know, Mint, but it's like Nadia said. Yeah, I tried, but it only worked for so long. He started pushing me. Uh, Lester? Yeah, I'm sorry. Mint already grilled me. Yagami, yeah, he's something else. He's right here. You, you want to talk to him? Nope. Okay, did I at least buy some extra time? Then we did it. Okay, I'm on my, on my way. Okay. Beat Knuckle. Alright, 16, more speed, more 
flex. Lighter than brass, but not as tough. So it's 18 compared to 14, 10 speed, defense. So it is faster, I'll have less defense, but not by too much. Plus I'll have more offense. Looks like he left his shoes. Now I think this is a shoe for your hand, which doesn't make much sense, but whatever, right? Let's go ahead and throw down one of these, just so if I do unceremoniously meet my end, uh, we won't have to walk all the way back here and do that boss fight again. Since you never know when you're gonna get locked into a boss fight. Well, this is close enough anyway, right? Another save room for us. It's pretty, pretty gracious of the game, I gotta say. Pardon me, excuse me. Be so kind. I see a box. What's in the box? Rice peel off, huh? How'd you peel off the rice? Rice and butter. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Other toppings for pizzazz. Okay. Anything down here? Anything over here? No? Okay. Kick punch. It's all in the mind. If I put on your beat, Knuckle, I think you'll find. Nothing over there. It almost looks like that should continue. This is one of those games I always wanted to play, but... And, like, always... W was always getting overwhelmed by all the icons, I see. There is quite a few icons. Like, if you look at this screen and this screen, it's like, what the hell does all this mean? You can't even click on those ones. You have to use the, uh... Use the D-pad to actually see all these icons. So you got, like, strength, defense, accuracy... Weapon speed. Also, ability the parry blows. Then, like, magic. <laughs> or wisdom, excuse me. Stamina, speed. All of your element attacks. And then down here you have all your element defense. Then your ability to absorb certain attacks. As well as deliver certain attacks. And then whatever these ones are. I'm not exactly sure what these do. We have, like, fame. Courage. It proves how brave he is. It's like, what does that do? I don't know. How famous he is. What does that do? I don't know. Alignment, good and evil. That'll, that'll adjust if animals attack you or not. And then, of course, you have all your uh, sub-job sort of proficiencies. But yeah, I get what you're saying. There is a lot of stuff on screen here. You better run, you little chicken shit. I'll get you. <laughs> I will tickle you with my new beat knuckle. That's some substantial damage. Get some gold from that bat, because of course bats have gold. Stop running. Stop it. <laughs> I look down at that bat at the bottom. Come on, man. Kill it. Critical hit that one. Give me your gold. Give it. Give it. Come on, game. There you go. Got better at punching because I punched that bat. There we go. Got full tech points. That'll be good if we get into another another battle I'd rather not be in. That has a heavy door, you know, barring my path. Don't attack me. Ah, you son of a bitch. So fast. Ow. Okay, didn't follow me into the next room, which makes me a little antsy. Suddenly things. Are you guys going to be afraid of me? Bet. I'm guessing we're locked in here until I dispose of all you. Oh yeah, you're still afraid. And you should be. There we go. Now you are next. Come here. This is really rude to whatever these things are. I'm on fire. That's unfortunate. Oh, you'll pay. Seeing me on fire was not in today's schedule. Go enjoy. Uh, let's see if there's something in the new room. No? Okay. Let's go and heal up. Coconuts? Yeah, we have a few of these. How many? Eleven? Yeah, I think we can spare some coconuts. Need a 
little more. All right, I'll have to wait for that to digest. For me, so many of these silly things. What's in the box? A giant chocolate coin. No, no, damn it, stop it. We got Blue Eyes version three, or volume three more likely. The back of his head throbbed, and he, as he rose, he muttered, The power of Aquarian. Okay. What does it mean? To be frank, I have no clue. Alright, sir, if we could part ways, that'd be fine. I said part ways. Damn it, stop! <laughs> oh my goodness, what is going on on the top screen? There you are, Mick. Glad you're okay. I was worried about you back there. Oh, keep it down. I'm concentrating. Oops. So do you think we can get those sales? Yeah, it's going well. Thanks for stalling. Did he hurt you? Nah, I'm just a little banged up, that's all. He also took my beat knuckle. <laughs> that thing is still up there hopping. <laughs> all set, Mint. Actually, this is uh, Lester's talking. It's all set, Mint. The trial results are, were positive. You have big corona. I mean, <laughs> all that's left is the dip switch. The data, Lester. Sure, here goes. The secondary switch should be all these numbers. All these numbers, Roger. Oof. We can start the extraction soon. Then it'll be all ours. Are we unstoppable yet? Maybe. Why is Jogmi? Oh my goodness. <laughs> unstoppable. There we go. Thank you, Takamizama. What the? This socket shouldn't be here. It's not even in the spec sheet. Said nothing about USBs. Oh. Well, that's not good. Uh, Mint, where are you? Mint, where are you? Isn't she right there? Get back! Oh my goodness! It has a deadly orbital laser. I know, it has like an ion painter. Oh, there's a uh, chest on the other side. We should probably try and grab that. Go ahead and grab some more coconuts. Alright, good. I am anticipating a boss fight fairly soon. Let's actually throw down one of these. Just in case I get locked into a situation I'd rather not be in. Just to save us some time. There's no real penalty for death other than to have to walk back. What the hell is that? Swanky soup. 40 HP. Uh-huh. Truly mana from heaven, maybe. <laughs> okay. Neat. <laughs> yes. You should have brought USB-C, not micro USB. You'll never charge that pyramid. Well, we're in a good condition to actually do this. We have all of our... Oh. All I had to do was walk north like five steps and I would have seen this and I would have saved us all of our coconuts. But oh well. <laughs> There's a lot of beds and baths in here. My god. Oh, now, now you must fight three of these. Or four of these, rather. Kill it. Oof. Oof. What a fucking terrible room. Can you please murder ball it, please? Thank you. You though, the, you there over to the right, just wait your turn. I said wait your turn. All right, we should probably eat. Let's have, uh, I suppose more coconuts. We do increase my defense. 
We're also going to lose a lot of resources if I die here, which is going to be regrettable. Coffee beans, you can't eat those. Yeah, sure. You know, a good idea would probably be this. This could actually end up really bad, but let's see what happens. Should have done this at the very beginning. It didn't do anything. Well, that's great. This is why I don't bother decals often. Here's my defense. That's good. And the final ordeal. You are doing less damage than you things typically do. It probably would have also been a good idea for me to put on my counter, since these guys are doing a lot of physical attacks for some unknown reason. What am I even looking at? Okay, things are appearing. Let's go ahead and eat some more. And <laughs> If I do have enough to actually get through this battle, I will be impressed. Uh, swanky soup? Sure, that sounds pretty good. What do we have here? Our jambalaya. I can't remember if I got this on screen or not. It gives us more HP. Yeah, that sounds good. We have some potions. How many do I have? I have a singular potion. Let's eat it. Oh, I can't. I'm too full of stuff. Oof. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Also, that really fri flippin' hurt. So I'm guessing only one of these is the right one to attack? I can't seem to enter battle mode anymore, which is unfortunate. Oh, that's a bottle. It's not a potion, you silly bastard. You still can't eat. This eating system, I tell ya, it is the best. Whoever designed it is a champ, and anyone who says it otherwise how can you not eat? There's an area right there. I will be platinum annoyed if you somehow ruin this. Uh oh. Woof. Nope. I don't anticipate us winning this for some reason. Why have you not digested stuff yet? Why? Well, it hasn't been the requisite amount of time. I think I'll just avoid some damage here while we wait for my digestion to actually get on board. Doesn't seem like there's any problem with me just jacking around here. I do have that full heal decal. That's a good idea there, Deck Eye. Let's go ahead and get this consolation heal out here. If I can rip it off this. Come on. Beautiful. My life has never been so complete. Anyone who says it hasn't been... Seeing if I could click on them to maybe figure out which one's a real one. Maybe there's some indication which one's real. are doing damage. Just gotta watch out for the ball. Okay, that one was the wrong one. Oops. Ah, 
Ah, uh, it, it avoided my attack. Ow. There we go. That one's flashing different over there. Oh, that was not the right one. Oof. Nope, still the wrong one? Come on. Baldin subscribing. This game is one of your favorites? Good to hear there, Valdo. Okay, that one was a good hit. Keeps taking me out of battle mode. I don't even know what we're fighting here. <laughs> Just a bunch of holograms and a you know pyramid at the top of the screen. This game makes about much <laughs> as much sense as Earthbound, like I've said before. There we go. We, we got a <laughs> an alignment up from punching that hologram. Very good. But You avoid me. You're cheating. Woof. The ball hit me. They're spinning faster than ever. That one is the wrong one to hit. That's the painful one to hit. Okay, we can actually eat herbs again, so maybe we can seize the day. Not the hardest boss, I think. It's just... Trying to hit the right one of these silly holograms. Trying to hit the holograms at all, even. Nope, I got trapped. It's both riveting and visually compelling. It's a feast for the senses, I'm sure. Listen. Get punched. Ah, oh, goddammit. Damn it. Stop avoiding my love. My love taps. Okay, I think we may have won. Against all odds. This is when it falls on me and kills me, right? No, it just goes back to its home planet. Okay. Well, that's good. That was a very awkward fight. I'm glad we won on the first attempt. There were some many moments where I thought we would not. There, let's go ahead and get that all covered up. Where the items go after you digest them? Well, you'll learn once you get to that biology class where they go. Is it all over? All clear? Only, only oxen free. I'm also glad to hear that you are alive, Bolton. Apparently, that pyramid yeah. houses another dimension. It houses a... freaking what? <laughs> hmm. You completely disappeared from my radar in there. Hmm. But it's good to have you back safe and sound. Hmm. Who knew the pyramids were so high-tech? Hmm. That's... That one's like a life form with its own will. Hmm. I'd theorize the cosmonauts were sucked inside. Hmm. Shouldn't it shouldn't have gone nosing around in such business, to be honest? Hmm. We might as well gather up the rest of the sales, cells, though. Hmm. While well, no one's in our way, you know. Hmm. Good work, Yagami. I've drawn a bath. Hmm. Why don't you come back? Okay. I shall go ahead and come back, because I'm tired of this place. Hmm. Give it. We're almost at the time where we can really grind. Like, we've been grinding before, but we have not really ground. Hmm. Oh, you're back! Hmm. He just takes the cell right from me. With the cell, no less. Wonderful. Hmm. I'm afraid that we are quite... We have quite the task ahead of us. Hmm. 
We received an SOS from the cosmonauts. Okay. Ooh. I videotaped it for later reference. <laughs> I put it, a tape in the VCR and actually recorded it. Why I was ready for such a thing is, uh, well, I'm always ready. I'm a regular Boy Scout. Here, come take a look at this. Ooh. The fuck am I looking at, Professor? <laughs> okay, this is the really important part. Somebody, we need some help in here! Whoa, help! What's going on? How are we supposed to get out of here? We, oh, we could warp. There? Is that working? Not with all this electromagnetic disturbance. Not with all this slow two-dimensional spinning. <laughs> We're gonna be sick. <laughs> this is bad. Send out a rescue signal. No! I refuse to ask for their help. I think that's Mint saying that. We don't have a, we don't have a choice. Huh? Mint, it's the cells. I can see them. Why are they? I'd be willing to help if the price was right. Our professor is kind of an asshole. Who activated the distress signal? Okay, Gramps. You did all this, didn't you? Hmm. You're the one who sent the SOS! Hmm. And you're the only ones who can see the cells! Hmm. That pyramid is throwing off my lab sonar! Sonar? <laughs> okay. Hmm. Not radar, not lidar, not anything else. No, it actually uses sonar. Isn't this a spaceship? It seems like sonar would be a poor choice. Anyway, how about a trade? I'll help you escape if you tell me where they are. Fine. Mint, no, it's a trap. But if you... You have to help our friends first. Those are the terms. It's gotta be all of us, Gramps. That's the deal. In space, no one can hear you pee. All right. I want the cells not to make you suffer. The third socket's dip switch is this number right here. That'll turn off the electromagnetic field. Freeing you all. Thanks. Maybe you're not half bad after all, Gramps. I'll hold you ste I'll hold you steady. Go ahead, Mint. So this'll get so this'll get us out. What are you worried about, Nadia? They're going to rescue us. Oof. Ugh, I'm getting dizzy. All this two-dimensional spinning. We're almost there. Don't give up. Oh, goodness. Oh, I thought there was going to be even more spinning. Did it turn off? Yeah. Ugh, I'm going to be sick. The field is off. Our m menu system is fine. They have a menu, too? We'll be able to warp again, Mint. Where have you been all this time, guy? That monkey's on their side? It's a cosmonaut too? Wait, you were... you were in there too, huh? Well, I messed up. I believe I've kept my side of the bargain. Now it's your turn to do the same. I suppose a promise is a promise. The cells are kind of all over. What? Did you shatter them? Because according to my radar here... Aw, oh, you're flustered. How cute. S <laughs> small cell shards have already been found. By some people in a certain undisclosed nebulous place. Actually, this could be a real opportunity. Are you thinking of what I... Are you thinking of what I think you are meant? <laughs> it is our specialty. Really, it has been such a long time. This is gonna rock, Nadia. I hope I'm not too out of practice. I wish I had some indication of who the hell is talking during the sequence. It'd be handy for me actually voicing the characters. That should be enough. We told you plenty. We're even. Hmm. What? But where are the cells? Fine. One last hint. It, they're on an island. 
But don't stress out. Uh, don't stress out over it. Take your time. I don't want there to be any more trouble. Yagami should be back any time now, right? I'm in the lab now. Why don't you send him to another on a, another stupid errand? Well, there you have it. I think we've been had. I was never good at negotiation. I really trusted them. Man, I'm a sucker. I should stop watching this. It isn't helping. We just have to pick up and keep going, I suppose. I forgot that was a VHS recording. <laughs> So I wasn't there already. They're broadcasting from 400 kilometers to the southeast. This island of theirs has to be within uh, 500 kilometers. What island could Mint actually have been talking about? Is this it? Ah, I think I've got it. This must be Habara, the tiny island nation that is most likely Japan. Let's see, I've set the sea navy to have Habara Island, Yagami. Shall we make our preparations complete, Captain? All right. I think you... You'd think I would remember these things. It's the balloon decal. Give it a look-see. This is Yagami. You blow up the balloon until it pops. Got it? So, and clear? You have to inflate the balloon, you see. What are you even talking about? The bigger it gets, the more damage it'll do. See? That's how... You don't know how to inflate it. You just blow! Oh, man, I might not be able to use that one. On the DS, there were several things where you'd actually blow into the microphone to actually make it work. I'll try! <laughs> You'll get to hear uh, lethal blowing into the mic. No guarantee it'll work. I can't either, but... Sure, someone can help you with that. That about covers it. Covers the balloon decal. I bet you'll really tie. I <laughs> lethal ASMR, there you go. <laughs> go to Habara Island sometime. Glad that mechanic is dead. I was gonna say, I'm sure there's something in this menu for that. Let's see, config, emulation settings, hotkey, control config? <laughs> Where's the blow into the mic button? <laughs> we'll figure that out when we figure it out, I guess. Some people shout into the mic. All right, set course. Yeah, it looks vaguely Japanese. All right, it's time for the typical session, session tradition of petting the mochi while we transit over the water. Depends on what... There should be a blow into the mic to a key, or bind it to a key. I didn't see it in that control, but, uh... I'm sure we'll be fine. We probably don't need that sticker. Make sure you take a break every two hours. Don't worry, these broadcasts are only two hours. Go ahead, Mochi, you can play. Couldn't finish Spirit Tracks, because I couldn't play the Spirit Pipes. Damn it, Nintendo. You and your gimmicks. Get petted. This is my favorite book. I won't tell Yagami if you don't. Now's a good time to play with Mochi. Yagami doesn't know about you. Even though you can control him. It's in the normal keypad section. Are you enjoying the game, Lethal? Maybe. We are now at Habara. We are approaching Habara Island. The current temperature is 29, or is, excuse me, 79 freedom with 20% humidity. Habara is famous for its high-tech shops. Actually, the whole island is just one giant shop. It isn't big, so the shops are built on other shops. One word of caution, though. The cells are making those electronics go nutso. Don't get caught in the field like I like they did. 
Wait, that was... I thought that was the pyramid. Is that some kind of, like... Oh, I went outside the window. Is that some sort of, like... Do they have their own pyramids here? If you lose contact with me, don't panic. Some kind of event is going on in the shop. Geeks usually gather for there for conventions. Nerds. Main PC reporting. Weak cell response on radar. Scatter is that scattered? Scattered shell cells are now gathering in one area. Reason unknown. Vectors concentrated in high tech niche retailer. This worries me. The cosmonauts may already be executing their plan. And I have one of my own, Yagami. Hmm. All you have to do is get near those cells. Hmm. Use the decal, and they're as good as ours. Hmm. We've arrived at Habara. Okay. Fantastic. There's ancient Japanese pyramids. I mean, that's just typical, well-known history. Yeah, this is fairly Japanese. Hmm. Hmm. Taking a look around here. There's all sorts of things to take in. Uh, sorry for intruding, but uh, where are you going to? Two with a two O's? Or, or maybe he says you're going to. It's just you're all dressed up, so I... I want tickets too. At an online auction, see? I was going to try... I was trying to snipe. And I finally got one. You're trying to snipe? They're so underground, it would be next to impossible. I only got wind of this through my spot. Through what? <laughs> the band is pretty much an online phenomenon. Uh-huh. Well, there's a Yonaguni of monuments. So that might be man-made, maybe. Hey there, sir. Hey, well, it's time for the concert. Got tickets? Find a moo cr crystal, I could shake her hand. Online auctions are the greatest thing. Cause you know everyone is serious about mute. The beauteous mute. The what? I could actually murder ball you and get in there, that's good to know. I can tell you you're one of the fashionable types. Can I help you with something? I bet you're here for that new RPG, right? Well, people are going to be lining up all night. Huh? That isn't it. Then are they playing today? You must be one of those chosen then, right? Psh, pop idols like Mute are just one-hit wonders. I couldn't care less about that diva. She's just a flash in the pan. I need more substance. You into that kind of thing, or just prosciutto? Which is my favorite food. <laughs> At least in this playthrough. You look like a shopsman. Welcome! You were shy, must say. He has a fucking plasma blade. That's, uh, that's neat. A bakuto, a wooden sword. Foes run west when they see this eastern blade. It's not really a blade, though. It's made out of wood. Hmm, hexagon stat. That's some fairly good damage. Simple six-sided stick. Say that six, ten times fast. Six-sided, simple six-sided stick. Simple six-sided stick. It's not that hard. I'm not gonna do it ten times. I care about my viewers too much, Wink. You certainly have a darker complexion, sir. What do you got? You got a glove, palm gloves, mostly for their look. Sometimes hits critically. Uh huh. He doesn't everything? A wrench? <laughs> more damage to machines. Are you saying I'm gonna see more machines? Might wanna buy that. A glass rod for a fisherman. I'm not a fisherman yet. Strawberry <laughs> Ichigo Gunyu. That's good. We can be just like uh, our hero Gin. Gin Tokisama. Let's see. Some carp sushi. That sounds fucking god awful. We're getting out of here. <laughs> Carp sushi. It's worse than nut take at, am I right there, Valden? Come on. Alright, let's see what else we got over here. Hi, I'm Ayaka. Nice to meet you. What's your name? 
Yagmi, that's a cool name. I like video games, and I <laughs> even collect older ones. I mod my own clothing, too. Maybe you're not into geek girls, but I'm cute. This is Yagami. <laughs> this is Yagami, and I think you're cute too. My type, huh? Well, I'm into. I really like bad boys. They're always so exciting, don't you think? I don't think I have a bad boy costume. Otherwise, I'd be your bad boy. All right. Well, nothing to do here. Guess I'll just walk past you and go upstairs. There's a cat on that television. I think. There's a little boy on that one. You know that famous show with the catchy uh, theme song? <laughs> You're lucky I'm bad at many things. <laughs> so bad. Would you like the music Blue Sky March? It'll be yours for 10 grand. No, I'm good. Well, if you have a change of heart. Do I even have that much? I only have about a quarter of that. Seems like a bad investment, though. Snakes on a Boat, Collector's Edition. Snakes on a Boat, Collector's Edition. I thought it came out today. Where is it? I'm not going to go home without it. I'm sure as heck not going to ask for help. That's not my way of the ninja. Why are there so many refrigerators around? Is this model kit? Is this the model kit floor? I'm sorry, you don't. You do work here, don't you? Of course. I'm looking for an uh, a ho scale no M connector, and I'll take a uh, version two boson cruiser if you have one. Original series, of course. Otherwise, no. Oh, you don't work here. Well, why didn't you tell me? How come you never find <laughs> find sales clerks anyway? Good talk, glad I have. I know this music is just very, very bouncy. And then it's gone. <laughs> well. Oh, there's something in the shelf. Newspaper clipping special, Cosmonauts Part 4. Yeah, let's go ahead and read it. Why did Mint take over? The answer lies in her home life. Her last name, Cloudy, M Mint Cloudy, interesting name, brings to mind the Interplanetary Cloudy Crime Syndicate. You read that right, Interplanetary. Is she the heir to that family fortune? Lester's connections allow for some reasonable speculation, but in the end, speculation is all it is. Take a look at this. Let's see. Uh, data on the cosmonauts is hardly forthcoming. Lester gave Mint his starry rule and stepped down. And stepped down into support into support capacity. Continued in the professor. What? In the professor? I hope I don't have to read inside him. Also, I can't get between that shelf and the wall. Come on. Okay, that's the way up. What's in the box though? Shadow thief. I don't have those clothes. Are these ones also that way? Yes. I did buy a mess of keys. No, I'm a bad person. Oh, okay. So, some of them can be unlocked with the small keys. They're just interchangeable with everything. So, we've got a free sword. That's cool. That's much stronger than this if I wanted to use it. But I kind of want to upgrade my fist powers. I would like that death touch if I can get it. All right, we're going to get music again. The answer is yes. I think we might be getting the Shadow Thief outfit somewhat soon. Hey there. Welcome to another edition of Convenient Inventions. This electromagnetic shield apron is a must-have. You never know when this might happen. Hmm. Yagami, what's going on? Hmm. You'll break up hmm. from a strong, so be full. Hmm. Yagami, yep. Hmm. Oh no, hmm. it's 
Dots. See electromagnetic anomaly. See electrical <laughs> electromagnetic anomaly, and I'm just fine. Of course you are. Meanwhile, that gizmo of yours is shot. How much do you expect to pay for this Uber apron? Three, thirty-nine ninety-five, twenty-nine ninety-five. How about with your life? Excuse me. <laughs> and then he was gone. <laughs> oh my! What am I even looking at? Okay, we'll be back. <laughs> He's following me down the stairs. <laughs> Mom, the refrigerator's getting fucking aggressive again. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go buy that uh, that wrench. Ooh. That wrench that does more to machines. I should have done that earlier. I kind of want that fridge to come to life, to be honest. Ooh. We'll enjoy this bouncing music as I get down here and buy this wrench again. Thankfully, it doesn't require any kind of specific clothing. Sir, I would like your wrench. There is a refrigerator that needs a fixin'. Okay, you're not the wrench man, excuse me. Well, I said this place was cool. Ah, you son of a bitch. <laughs> 18 damage, that would... Is that really that much better? I guess it would be 27 damage altogether. Sure. Look, don't sell it. I want to equip it. All right, now we can fix them. I think I'm gonna do one more thing before we go deeper in. I would like to change costumes. Where is the boat entrance? I think if we used our air cutter one, it'd be better here. Or flyboy, rather. Is our strongest one. It also has a shield ability, which could be very handy. Although I'm not sure if that, you know, deflects icy water blasts. I suppose we'll find out soon. We do have less health now, as you might note. And then no music. <laughs> Why would you do that game? Everyone was enjoying it. Oh well. Ooh. Couldn't buy all that stuff. Alright, Refrigerator Chan, round two. Ooh. I'll fix you, good boy. There you go, easy peasy. I got some ham. All dragons not here, or I'm sure he'd be happy with the situation. These things are not doing nearly as much damage as those silly sar sarcophagi we were fighting earlier. You don't want to fight? Okay. Hmm. There it is. Got <laughs> got one of Vault's viewers here, at least. Hmm. One of Vault's subscribers, even. Take it. Hmm. There we go, take out that guy. You want some of this, too? Ow. Okay, you guys don't do a lot of damage on your own, but the cumulative damage is eventually going to add up. Well, there's that guy who said I was going to pay with my life. Hello. Oh, you want to actually fight, huh? Oh, don't kill me. I'm innocent. Let's go and eat some more of these herbs. I have five left. I might as well finish them off. Can I eat the ham straight up? I can. That's actually not that great, though. Only 25 HP. Four minutes of, uh, time there. Some of these items are just terrible. Whereas, like, herbs are a better item. If you could only buy them other places. Alright, punk. Could hit you with that, make you stupider, or I could do a power strike. Call my cyclone armor. 
and now you can't even attack me. You fool. I didn't give me anything. Would you like to fight? Yeah, I think it doesn't work so well against you. But I might as well take you down. He gave me some coal. Fantastic. You were slow to un go unlock the points, huh? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Don't get me. Don't get me. To get all the emoticons there. Oh my goodness, I just got sucked. And it wasn't in a way I'd prefer. Nope. Okay, good, 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 good. Have a place we can relax here. Ben and need to go buy some more health items. Oh, I say. Oh, my word. Don't do it. Glad that my explain commands are getting used. Seemed like a good idea to make those. What the? I'm not sure what you are. <laughs> I think that's a flip phone. This one's like a bedazzled flip phone. But Seashore vibrations. Seize it. Why can't I push you out of the way? There's clearly something back there. I want it. Oh well. Where did you come from, little guy? Ow, 20 damage from a cell phone. It bit me. I see. Well, that's a silly location. Pardon me. Don't understand the point of that little maneuver there. Oh. Welcome. Are you looking for classic video games? You would, you wouldn't have. Let's see, let's try that again. You wouldn't have a Moo Crystal on you, would you? We've seen a lot of fans of Mute, of Mute today. I guess you can't get in without a crystal. <laughs> so two, what, what a way to write that. Too much weird stuff going on here lately. Anyway, guess some people are getting mad and leaving. But those are the rules. You got to bring a crystal. You don't seem worried, though. Got that covered? You you using some kind of weird power, maybe? Here, try this game out for free. Enjoy. Okay. Give it a try. Go on. Sounds fine. Here we go. Get ready for fun. I can't vouch for what might happen, though. Oh. I'm in the game! Go! <laughs> there he goes, Mark, going around the track. Oh my goodness! Car 2 is on his heels! Ring, ding, 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 ding. I should have my arms out stretched like the guys I got this costume from. Oh my god! Hot race babes. What's up here? Ring ding ding ding. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! The cars are mad! And they're very aggressive! Oh, I'm gonna fucking die! Uh. No cars. This is not where I fall. Try my balloon ASMR in just a moment. <laughs> yeah, those are full hell, so I can at least survive. Let's try one of these. Maybe this will change them into different enemies that are weaker. It worked! It turned them into bunnies! You're not a bunny! Bad. Uh, 
<laughs> oh, the cars are running behind. Fesner gets up close and personal with the rail. Winkelhop is spinning. Oh no, crashing. Mew is having some trouble with the sand. Does this make Chris our champion racer? Oh no, he's been rear-ended. Which means... Uh -huh. Our season's first winner is... Yagami! He's so good, he didn't even need a car, folks. He kept his eyes on the prize and used his thighs. This is Yagami. This, this is, is Yagami. Yagami. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> we had a great race out there today. So Yagami, we'd like to thank you. You made today a day for all to remember. And our audience never stops cheering. That's all for now. See you all next time. Please exit from the left side of the pit. How does one get down from here? Ooh. Guy gives us, a gives us a thumbs up as, as we leave. And we've returned to the beginning, which is Nepod. And he has deserted us, but we get free healing. Sounds good. There was a bath behind that the whole time. There's more of this dungeon to go now. No. No aggression towards me. Is that another bath? It's in the way, though. Okay. Good bath. Damn it. Oh, there's a thing over there I'd like. There's too many cell phones. Far too many cell phones. Er, er, okay. You sealed your fate. You bet. Sir, you bet. Please, please hit it. Please hit it. Thank you. Gonna fucking die. To some cell phones. Don't, don't kill me. Very fragile right now, please. This game is very, very rough. As you've seen multiple times in this playthrough. Like, uh, the difficulty curve just ramps up suddenly. And all of a sudden, you're taking just buttloads of damage. So that's typically what I do between, like, sessions. Is I go buy one of these save rooms, beat up the nearby enemies like so. Grab their butter. Let's see what's in that box. One thing about this game is there's no armor, so... It's not like there's a way you're gonna get better. There we go, good. I wanna know what's in that box. First, I must defeat all these cellular phones. There we go. How does one approach said box? Is that just some sort of, like box of allurement over there that you can never reach because it's just right there. Oh boy. Damn it, stop sucking me. Without my consent. Bad. Oof. Kill it. Thank you. If anything else aggresses, I'm gonna have to run like the dickens. Oh, those, de those things are definitely alive. See how they're barring my path there? They know what they're about. Alright, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and, like, use my cyclone energy as soon as I get in the room, then just bolt through here as quickly as possible and try to get there. That's how this game goes, though. It's just very, very rough. I know Plastic Allen was thinking about playing this game eventually, and I told him, you're gonna have to grind in this game. It's very rough. Very fucking rough. Thankfully, we're pretty close to that event where I'll be able to get overpowered. Also, this is rather unfortunate. I'm gonna fucking die. Yep, I'm gonna fucking die. There's not much I can do here. So I got cornered by a refrigerator and a cell phone, and then I died. He'll get to it eventually. Like I said... What you get for dying is you just get sent back to the ship. 
We're just gonna pretend that I walked all the way back here. <laughs> or I load the save, which is more likely. Alright, let's not get pincered into an unwinnable situation. Or I just get stunlocked to death. Pardon me. Please, please, please stop. Let's go up here and see if I can get these enemies off my ass. Okay, good. Good. Pardon me. What's in the box? I was just waiting for it to be... A Ginzu knife, huh? Oh yeah, I was playing actually using that skill, wasn't I? Okay, was that actually worth the trouble? Can you please go into the menu this century? Thank you. That's another chef-only item. Does more cooking. 19 offense. Not that bad. Light rust-proof rust knife. At least now I'm only taking half damage. Carp sushi. So I can make my own now, huh? What do I need for my carp sushi? Let's see. Carp and steamed rice. I don't know how to make steamed rice, though. Oh boy, here we go again. Welcome back, the mighty Game Master. How'd the race go? Take home the gold? Bub? Running instead of driving? Sounds like a bootleg. No wonder the Dark Knight stomped your face. The what? Enough of that. Here's another retro classic. It's an RPG, but you don't like those, do you? Nah, not especially. It's only the best puzzle game ever. Your fate lies in battle, Yagami. Scary skeletons, devious Dark Knights. Gain skill and power in real-time battles. Over 100 hours of riveting tactical gameplay. Go ahead and throw down one of those so I don't have to walk back here when I inevitably get fucked. Ready for fun? Winners don't use wares. <laughs> Fucking wares. <laughs> but again, we're not liable or anything. Dragon and Dragon. Okay. It's very dungeons. Really, very ghouls and ghosts. Let's actually switch our weapon here to... You might be better. The alternative is you. You only do 16. Ah. Ah. Disengage. I can't move. I literally can't move. Thank you, game. Appreciate it. Literally can't fucking move. I know, good god, game. All I wanted to do was see what was in the box. Are you gonna follow me in? No, surprisingly not. All right, let's try this again. Hopefully I won't get fucked. What we'll do is we'll actually use some of our skills here. I'll use one of my air cutters. I was hoping that actually, you know, pull you in my direction so I could dispatch you. There we go. Mono Egosto. There we go. And one last. Come here, you punk. Might have to go back to the ship. Get my uh, decals redone. A short sword, huh? Is that worth my time? 23, faster speed, uh, maybe. It's a short sword with standard attack. Dragonvania Captor, <laughs> Captain Commander Keen's quest. Let's see. Ooh. Ah, no. All right, punk. Aha, I parried. Okay, you're not that bad. Ooh. Gonna need some health items, though. That's the real problem, is I'm not getting a whole lot of health items. I can't eat straight butter, can I? I can eat straight butter. <laughs> That's kind of silly. We still have our ham. Let's eat that. Uh, we'll have some meat. 
Oh, that's actually spices, excuse me. We have our mystery BBQ. That makes us less strong, huh? I really just need the health. The problem here is I can't really, like, juke out my enemies. Go ahead and use some of that... Some of that moon juice. Right. It's probably gonna be some kind of boss at the end of this that's gonna parry me right in the spleen. There's so many enemies. Perish. Perish? I already used my full hill, so I'm kind of hosed. That one's got a different color to it. Woof. Do I have any other food that I could eat? Just the butter and the strawberries, huh? We'll get faster, I guess. I do have some herbs left. Good. Can even eat them. Can't eat straight potatoes. I do have a... Can I actually imbibe you? I can. Good. I think between sessions I'm going to be making some items. Making some cooking. Woof. This guy's got to be the boss, right? All right, let's try some of that lethal ASMR. Ooh. Hey, blow into that DS microphone. <sighs> I gotta wait for it to actually go, right? Okay, so that's not working. It did damage, I guess. I think. <laughs> to be honest, I'm not sure. <laughs> Sexy pose like this. Try the accent key. Let's see if we can beat this guy first. Uh, let's see. Anything else in my bag of tricks I could use? I don't have any more decals I could use on him, right? I could always... Oh, let's try summoning Mochi. Come on, Mochi. The one below escape. So the tilde, or the back tech. One damage? One damage. That'll be the one damage that carries the day. Okay, we got him. That was surely the boss, right? Oh god. Oh my gosh. And that one, of course, knows me exactly as I went in. Ah! Okay, these things are jukeable, though. Let's go ahead and throw down another save day here just to see if I can maybe cheese my way to victory. Pardon me. Excuse me. Because I have nothing left in my tank. Pardon me. Pardon me, ghosty. What the fuck is this? Er, er, uh oh. Ugh. They got me trapped. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, so we made it to this screen. There's another gentleman who's going to murder ball my ass. That's good. Alright, let's go ahead and accept our fate. We need to get back to the ship anyway. Ooh. Sir, if you could dispatch me. Come on. Do it. There we go. Alright, clearly we need to go and buy some things because we just don't have enough staying power to get through this. Used everything I had in my tank. I didn't have anything else. I know, unedible potatoes. It's rather unfortunate. We'll go and get some healing items from uh, Caldoxa. That'll make things a little easier. Eat the potatoes, it's fine. Don't get starch tummy or anything.
All right, I guess we'll pet Mochi for the second time this session. Try to feel better about life. Maybe make Mochi strong enough to actually be effective in combat. This is my favorite book. Please, I won't tell Yagami if you don't. Still my favorite book. Go ahead, Mochi, you can play. How do you like living in interwebs? I can just drag my mouse over him. Yagami doesn't know about you. Come on, give us some new lines here. Yagami sure does value his sleep. enough money to buy all the herbs in the galaxy and those things can carry the day as far as just straight up healing us people actually live in this dark pit <laughs> the professor is kind of a dick all right give me some bread too Whoop. they'll give us more defense clap clap I'm just gonna spend every ounce of money on this because there's no reason not to. Also, I should consider making some potions. I think I got water, so I should be able to do that. Oh, the excitement, the romance, the danger of buying all the herbs in the galaxy. We're almost there. I wish they had more shops with just these herbs around, to be honest. That'd be too easy, though. Alright, we're dirt broke. Let's go. But lethal. The day for buying herbs is two days ago. Speaking, of course, of Animal Crossing. I saw that uh, Asmo apparently had a huge price on those parsnips. It was kind of audacious. Let's go ahead and get these revitalized. Oh, did you already give me my my uh, my things? You did. That's good. I didn't know. I'm not familiar with dying this often. <laughs> All right, let's go change clothes. Mr. Cuisine. My prices have been descending this week, so I didn't buy any. Let's see, some water, herb, 35 herbs. I, I don't, I thought I had the, I was almost certain I had the recipe for baking potions. Oh well, I don't need potions. Who needs them anyway? Let's go ahead and set our course back to this. Habara Chan. I know, just put the whole thing in there. I guess I could make some meat. Might as well. And am I fucked up? I also should cook that chicken while I'm here. Yep, I made it into coal. Very good. Let's make some chicken. Can I grill chicken? Or is that above my level? Okay, I can grill chicken. Good. Uh -huh. BBQ chicken, and it smells great. <laughs> Chef etiquette. Cool. Black lung flavor. I mean, my favorite? <laughs> oh, I put two chickens in there while I was reading chat. You can't have two chickens. Good, I'm not screwing up these chickens. Oh, you know what I should do? 
You know would be a wise idea? Actually holding a knife. If I had a, uh, a Ginzu, for instance, my cooking's better. Let's see, does it show that on my menu here somewhere? Well, it should. I should be better at doing things and stuff. Also, my fire is better in the chef's uniform. My fire defense. Makes sense. A knife. That's right. Should be... I should be less likely to fail if I hold this. You run faster with your knife out. I mean, that's what uh, Counter-Strike taught me. It's one of those mechanics that's just silly and awesome. Can I put an herb on top of this? No. Well, that's what I get for trying to be creative. Can I put some spices on this? I remember someone telling me I could do that. Spiced meat. Will it actually succeed? No. Turn into a block of carbon. Well, let's try it again. The fact I'm even trying means that it actually might work. Come on, get better. Okay, I got better. Good. Wasting my spices, wasting my meat. Maybe eventually I'll be able to make something good. Put pineapple on everything. I don't have any pineapples, or I try. Another block of carbon. Great. Good use of my resources. Yeah. Especially that spice. The coconut is tasty. Ail the coconuts, unfortunately. Man, I can't even barbecue meat now. Yagami's soul is just fucking destroyed. Go on, man. Can I make... I got some rice and I got some butter. Can I make some rice peel off? Or it has to be steamed rice before I can do that. Because I don't know how to steam rice. <laughs> Mom! Because I can't... You know, you'd think it'd just be water and rice. Oh my god, it actually worked this time. I couldn't do this before. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the resources just jump out of the pan. Okay. Do it again, but better. Aha! You didn't drop them this time. Hooray! It smells great. See if we can steam more rice. You know, our training montage is not running up the stairs and, like, punching big slabs of meat. No, it's turning rice and water into a slab of coal. <laughs> we have a singular steamed rice. How's that? Gives me more stuff. Steamy rice is better than anything. All right, let's try that with some butter. Make some peel off. I can't? But didn't I just get the recipe? That's the sushi. Okay, so I need the carp for that. How do I make the peel off? How do I make the curry? Spices and coconut. Okay. Potion? Yeah! What the... Maybe it's because I selected the water first? That'd be really stupid if that were the case. Yeah, rice pilaf. Rice and butter. Maybe it's because I selected the... Might be it. For science. Alright, so the rice and then the butter. Why? It just... <sighs> yeah, the... but you did butter rice. I wanted to see if the order actually made a difference. It, it apparently is possible. I'm just not skilled enough, I think. All right, let's make some mystery meat barbecue. Call it a day. All right, what else do we got? Oh, don't cut anyone. Did I get back my bottles? 
I got two bottles, so whenever you turn them into water, they get consumed, which is weird and kind of dumb. Also, what happens if I have a chef's only knife equipped and I change clothes? Uh, let's see. One my flyboy on. No. Oh. Now let's go ahead and sleep. Probably just de equips it. But you put the butter first and you end up with rice pilaf and sieve. Pilaf rice and sieve. Rice pilaf. I see. So that's how it works. Alright. Let's get in the bed and actually get back to our destination. Just like in real life. Let's see. Shadow Thief. Uh, contact. That's what it was called, right? Thief costume. How does one get the costume? Is this actually the thing? Okay, it is. Good. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Just give me a second here. I want to make sure I get this costume before the end of the stream. Well, that's not it. Hmm. Let's see. I um, so much coffins. I'm gonna have to read this shit off camera. <laughs> There's just too much shit. It should just give us the thing. I don't remember it being this fucking evolved. I know we've got to be close to it. I think we're in chapter six. All right. Anyway, let's see if we can't make any progress in this hellhole. The worst part is having to walk all the way back. Enjoy this bouncy music for the few seconds it'll be with us. And it's gone. I've already seen what that is. I'm still kind of chuffed with how the, uh... Nope, nope. With how we missed that monk outfit. And I had to go back and stand next to a gentleman for about five seconds and he dropped it. Pardon me. I'm getting better at absorbing water. Oh yeah, I think that one's actually accessible only by the Shadow Thief. Maybe. Now, no, don't go up there, Lethal. You won't die, but it will hurt. Significantly so. No suck, please. Oh. Silly RPG game that killed me. Let's heal up. They behave just like your fridge. They try to get you to eat all their contents by flinging them at you. I love all this cool electronic stuff. Not sure I'm a fan there, Professor. It's a very small floor. That looked like it was a small floor. Let's go ahead and go around all of you. Ever been chased by cell phones down the hallway? Them clacking as they open and close? Are you fucking kidding me? We have to... We have to redo this again? I don't remember this. 
All right, so there are bigger consequences for, uh, for dying, unfortunately. You get to redo a section, hooray. Well, we'll do this one without using up all of our resources this time, I guess. All right, punks. Much easier than last time. Bring out your wrench. Attack it. Attack it. One at a time, please. Bad. So bad. Naughty. Not sure why killing that car makes me a good person, but it does. Thanks. It's a good life lesson. Dying has consequences. Well, you've gotten stronger. That was certainly easier than last time. Of course, last time I didn't just, like, jump into the fray. Into the midst of all of them and get fucked. Why is everyone's hands in the air? Couldn't tell you why. Alright, let's go ahead and do a big save here. And I'll do a quick save. See if we can't get through this next section, this stupid RPG. We have at least some health items this time, so I shouldn't be hurting. No emoji. Foam up, this is a stick up. Nope, nope, nope. There's one stuck in front of me. Ow. There's only half my, you know, life points. Alright. No wares. No wares. Okay, well, we're not gonna waste any energy on that thing up there, then. Let's also switch weapons. Uh, let's see. I wanted my sword. Where's my short sword? I still do have that, right? your blow. You missed. Good. We got an iron club. What is that good for? 33 damage, less speed. Lined in gold and painted black to fool the thieves. I see. That's kind of nice. Go ahead and put that in my pocket. Forever. It's got less speed, but that's alright. As long as it does the damage. Of course, now we're not parrying, which is unfortunate. Not taking damage seems better. Garrett's Blackjack. Let's go ahead and have some, uh, some food here. Some chicken. Five minutes, dang. Yeah, sure. We'll have a chicken, and then we'll have one of our mini herbs. Any unnecessary combat? Pardon me, sir, please. Alright. You asked for it, son. I was happy to let you live. But now I'm bringing down the hammer. You made me get higher defense, you fool. Go ahead and use that so I endure less pain and misery. my windshield is hurting him too whenever he's thrusting into my person. Sir, if you could please find it in your heart to die. You are just a rude son of a bitch, you know that? Not dying when I politely ask. The very idea. There 
go. We're getting more parries off thanks to that strawberry. Look at those parries. Ow. A long sword? Whoa. 25. Okay, so this one's got... It's got more attack, but it has less other things. A thrusting weapon's for knights to use. I think the parrying's gonna go a longer distance. All right. Bluff. Okay, I'm gonna have to attack you, I think. Uh oh. Can you please slash Yagami? Yagami, please. This is one thing that happens is sometimes you just will not attack. Which uh, is a failing of the game, I feel. That's why I'm happy to quick load there. This is Yagami. It happens to you and it happens to the enemies too. It's really fucking annoying. You effectively just get stun locked and then you get stun fucked. There we go, better. It's a short sword that's long. My god. Pardon me? Still getting lots of parries off. All right. Virgin territory for us. Getting stronger. More accurate. Okay, making progress. Ow. Stop murderballing me. Let's go ahead and have another strawberry. Get those parries on. It's amazing how well those strawberries help you out. All of a sudden, things are getting all kinds of misses. You're getting all kinds of parries. You're actually unable to attack me for whatever reason right now. See, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Sometimes it happens to the enemies too, where you just stun lock them to death. And this continues. Great. Sword is a sword great? Perhaps. Is that what we get here? An evil staff, my goodness. This dark staff wields a devilish secret. I see. It also makes me have fewer life points. So that's unfortunate. Makes me better at books. Much better at books. Also, we have a controller down here. to be great, but in reality, it's not great. I see. Is there advancement down here? Or is it just another controller? It's just another controller. Excuse me. What a terrible dungeon this is. This is where I came from, up top, right? Where do you want me to go? I saw a grate down here. Maybe I can slip down that? Stop it. I pressed A on it, and it let me go down. Very good, we're making progress. <laughs> I thought there would be like a climactic boss fight or something. No. You just go down the hole and then all of a sudden you're in Progress Town, USA.
Are we gonna? Are they gonna start soon? Probably. I hope there's no stupid open demand. Better not be after the trouble we went through. You can say that again. Got our seats? Yeah, I put my bag down on the two seats just to be sure. Nice move. Front and center. Here we come. I don't see him on the stage up here. As far as the bag is concerned. Everyone get inside. It's starting. They're doing a sound check. Oh, hey, it's that fashionable kid. Yeah? But how? Did you track down a moo crystal? Yeah, okay, so I'm a fan. Uh, what can I say? Mute is gorgeous. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with being gorgeous. I heard a rumor, too. This is a good one. She's totally into this moo crystal fad. She goes on and on about it on her blog. I thought this is where the... I was thought I thought they were just rocks or the, something. I see. So maybe these moo crystals are in fact, you know, those uh, those things we've been picking up, the cells, the fragments of those cells. But anyone who brings one to the concert tonight gets to shake her hand during and after the show. During the show? So my God. Remember when people used to say "so my God" or <laughs> however that's supposed to be pronounced? I remember. See, everyone here feels the same way about it. Hurry up! Let's push our way... <laughs> push our way up on stage. Okay. Thank you for pulling me into the railroad. I appreciate it. Ooh. Hey! Ooh. Do you hear me, Yagami? Ooh. The cells appear to be gathering into one spot. Ooh. That meant she's smarter than I thought. Ooh. She's pretending to be the pop star this named Yagami. Mute. Ooh. <laughs> so my god, what the fuck barbecue. There you go, Railroader. And her fanboys are collecting my cells. Mm. Oh, Lethal, there's something on my radar. Mm. How can Yagami be so close to those cells? Mm. We can only get we only get one chance. So do you think it'll how do you think it will go? Probably not that great. Can we steal them right from Mint's hands? Mm. Mm. What? He's at a concert? He has to keep his distance. Mm. I admire his motivation, but this is trouble. Mm. Yagami has to cooperate with you on this one. Mm. We're too close to let them catch us off guard. Mm. Yagami's menu isn't even online. Ugh. Mm. I wish we'd kept a closer eye on that kid now. All right. I see him on the top screen. Is he being persuaded off stage? No! Fucking nerds! Eek! Is everyone alright? Who let this kid in here? Boo! No one loves children! Boo! Get off the stage! I don't do autographs until after the show! You'll have to come back then, okay? You've gotta be kidding me! Yagami? I can't believe how clueless you are. If you wreck this concert, where will, where will the cells go? I can't expect you to just let us get away, sure. But how is this freaking out? How is freaking out like this going to help? Are you nuts? Fight. Hey, mate, you okay? You've gone too far, kid. Don't... I don't know how you got up on stage, but you're going to regret it. Thought he was going to, like, pile drive us off it. Just throws us against the wall. Irish whips us into the, uh, into the side there. Mute. Now's the time. Boo. 
Oh, she almost tried to stab me. Hey, boys, thanks for coming. Can you do Mute a big favor? <laughs> Little Mute a big favor. I need you to hand over the Moo Crystals now. I'm just one of those girls who can't wait, you know? Come on now, it's, it's easy. Just close your eyes. She didn't use a decal. This is bullshit. <laughs> Did. Did she just get abducted? Who's talking? Is this Yagami talking? Actually, that wouldn't make any sense. So this is like a kidnapping. Did the bank kidnap Mute or what? That's not... Why would that be what you'd infer? Hey, you. You're supposed to be the hero, right? Rescue Mute so we can get to the next cutscene. You're breaking my fourth wall, man. <laughs> Don't forget the romantic subplot. Live vicariously through Yagami. Oh, he's talking to me, Lethal. I see. Mm. Oh, Lethal, it's you. Mm. Mm. Um, him? Mm. Yeah, Yagami is here. Mm. He scoured the island looking for them. Mm. I guess you let him get away from you. Hmm. Don't worry, he couldn't find them anywhere. Hmm. Isn't Yagami like six? I don't know how old Yagami's supposed to be, to be honest. I mean, he's stabbing like full-grown soldiers and stuff, so he's got to be at least 15 by anime standards, right? He didn't find any cells before returning either. Hmm. He just flopped out on the bed and fell asleep. Hmm. But lethal, go easy on Yagami. Hmm. We did not lose the... The cosmonauts and the cells. Hmm. Technically, it was a huge failure, but hmm. he's dealing with a lot of stress, as you can imagine. Hmm. We aren't letting him act on his own. We aren't hmm. even letting him act on his own. Let's give him some time to for himself. Hmm. Come on, Mochi. Hmm. Why don't you give him a friendly snuggle? Hmm. I'm sure a good night's sleep will do wonders. <laughs> hmm. You must be tired too, Lethal. Take a break. And apparently I close my eyes. Yagami looks wistfully out the window at the romantic subplot. The mochi does one damage to Yagami, wakes him up. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Aha! Good morning, Yagami. Sleep well? Can I talk to you about something? You did well as you as you could yesterday. Nobody's perfect. Don't let it get to you. You need to keep me in the loop, okay? You're exhausted, aren't you? Let's get you home. We can take the ship. Hey, Yagami! I wasn't done talking. What a mess. Say, Lethal, what say we go check on him? He's getting ready. Is he going to come back? I guess it's his decision either way. I don't want to force him to do this anymore. Not that we can do much on our own, Lethal. If he doesn't return, I'll have to give up. Pet me. Pet me. Unfortunately, you're on the non-touch screen. I can't touch you. It's over. Good night, everyone. Ha! Yagami's a bit like Link. He just speaks through, like... Various vocalizations, no real words. Huh, this is a surprise. Mm. You're so refreshed. I knew a bath would help. Mm. I was always ready to do the right thing. Mm. That's jogging me, all right. Mm. I'm just thrilled. Mm. I was starting to worry about a bit back there. Mm. Pet me. <laughs> all right, jog me, shall we continue? Mm. This may be your final mission. 
the cosmonauts have the final element cell. Where do you think they ran off to? Out of the concert hall, down the escalator, out of the store and right off the island, into their ship bound for who knows where. Well, I know one person who knows. <laughs> I do. I've been tracking their every move. They do have the cell of mine after all. Right, computer? Main PC reporting. I've upgraded the PC again, so that's been helpful. Put more RAM in it, understand? I managed to do some shopping in Habara. Thanks, by the way, Mochi. I figured we'd want to radar, our radar optimized. I, fi I picked up a first-gen 3-gig chipset. See, he did get more RAM. We can track the cell in real time at 20 FPS. You seem blown away. <clears throat> Back on topic. The cosmonauts seem to be hiding out in a castle. This castle, to be exact. The ancient and majestic Akumojo Castle. Towering over the lakes about 77,000 kilometers northeast of here. Do you know their, what they're plotting there? The Mu control system. That creature could even revive a fossil, like one of those Pokemans. I would assume that it's their last resort. Last resort, excuse me. If the Moo system absorbs the last cell, let's just say we need to get it back. This is it, Yagami. Are you up for it? Excellent. Oh, don't overdo it, though, okay? The radar is picking up a powerful force. We need to hurry, get prepared first. Also, don't let your emotions get the best of you. Believe in your heart, in the heart of the cards that show you the way. Shall we embark on our final voyage, Captain? To Akumojo Castle. Whoops. I take that back. How hard is it to remember something I always do? I know those sticker things. Decals, of course, I knew that. Sun and Moon's decal has been uploaded for you. This one involves a little bit of chance, actually. The sun causes your enemies to suffer great damage. The moon, on the other hand, sends enemies off to sleepy land. Pretty thrilling, isn't it? I thought it was going to do me great damage. I'd hoped you'd find it amusing, Yagami. No? Well then, uh, regardless. Just try, uh, try it out when you're bored or something. Maybe if you feel like a gamble. Anyway, that's all for the Sun and Moon decal. Stay on your toes, and I'll see you when you return. And I'll see you... <laughs> well, I'll see you the whole time, but yeah. You understand. The Sun doing damage was this Boktai. Alright, so we got all that. Where are we? Are we still in Habara? Yeah, we're still in Habara. Go home. And I guess I'll set course for somewhere. Let me look at something real quick. Because I really would like to get this Shadow Thief outfit. Hmm. It would be very, very handy for us. I know you're supposed to be able to get after the sixth chapter. I'm fairly sure we're there. Hmm. Let's see. Uh-huh. Okay, apparently we get this in the, uh, in Aegis. So let's go ahead and set course for there. There's the castle up there. Although I can't select it for some reason. That's not Aegis. Let's see if we can't get do this done before I end the broadcast. Yeah, supposedly we're supposed to go into the uh, the pyramid that required the emblem. There will be a room with some mummies and a sarcophagus. Enter the room and go right. 
down the row of tombs and into a secret path that leads to a bed and a bath. Okay. I think I know exactly where that is. Fire Emerald? <laughs> yes. Oh, snakes, don't you ever learn? You actually can absorb still a lot of damage, all things considered, to be honest. You just can't deal a whole lot of damage. Alright. So we go to the first save point, it sounds like. Which would be, I suppose, around you. Up here. Damn you, Snake Town. I think I remember my way around here. At least this place should be less dangerous now. Also, uh, one moment. I can't see the chat because the game window is kind of on top of it. Bed, bath, and beyond. Pardon me. Should be up here and to the right, maybe? Well, it wasn't exactly this way. I could have dug there before. Tunnel snakes rule! And thankfully they're not in here. <laughs> you better run. Are you fucking serious? There are better things you can do with your life but attack me. Yeah, it should be in here. I'm my way. Alright, so this is the room I was talking about. Is there a secret hole around here somewhere? Hmm. No, not exactly. Aha! Hmm. The hell is that? <laughs> now what is that? Here it is. Is that part of, like, my grand scheme? Hmm. All right, you'll see... You see a bird-like thing flying. Okay, good. <laughs> we have seen that. Oh, I don't need to bring that on top of the screen. All right, you'll see that bird thing flying. Hmm. Tap it and... Oh, I was supposed to... <laughs> a fucking course I was supposed to tap it. What do you mean I was supposed to tap the bird? <laughs> Damn it. The thief map. Bamboo Island is marked on the map. Fantastic. Okay. Let's see if we can't get this then. Let's actually use the decal just to get back to the ship quickly. I s quickly. <laughs> Fucking hate this mechanic so much. You mean you don't have Chad on the uh, 40, 47 inch 8K monitor? I actually disconnected the 4K because I was getting performance issues. when I was playing, uh, Void Bastards. Alright, we got ourselves a new island, then. Let's go ahead and check it out. Get in the bed! Swear to God, Yagami! Let's see, Thief's Map, little Othma and up and up island, you'll get to the mini quest, finish that, and then you can get the Thief's costume. Okay. I was gonna say, we don't have a whole lot of time left for this though. I'm not sure how long this quest is gonna take. This mini quest. 
but it would be great if I got this done. Because I can make Yagami super powerful by next session. Also, why am I not clicking on this? Lethal, what the fuck? We're at Bamboo Island. Are you gonna tell us about Bamboo Island? Bamboo Island is small as islands go. Cool temperatures, I mean, I'm not going to give you freedom units this time, ideal for bamboo growth. Huh? Just one single, singular house? That doesn't seem right. Go check things out. Okay. I came in the chest I can't even acknowledge. When I'm a doctor, I'll make Grandpa all better. I don't think you're gonna make it, Sid. I come from a long line of thieves. I don't know why I'm telling a random person. <coughs> Are you okay, Grandpa? But my grandson here wants to be a doctor. I suppose that's fine. It is his life after all. <coughs> I don't think I have much time left in this world. Can you, can I pass on my thieving skills to you? Yes, I can. Well, that's good news. For now, your first try. Search Kaldoxa for the medicine called Amsonia. It's part of any thief's tool set. It's our ace. This training is meant to toughen you up. Okay, I know where that is. Mostly because I've read the guide, but you know, I probably could have figured it out also. Alright, so let's go back to A, or not the Aegis, to Kaldoxa. Get in the bed. If we didn't have to save every... Actually, I could have just told it not to save. Lethal, you fucking idiot. <laughs> These savings just take so long. If only I could skip it. Well, you did have a yes or no dialogue, you dipstick. Oh, okay. <sighs> every monitor for it. Careful out there. Okay. We also haven't gotten the fisherman outfit. It's one thing about this game that could have been improved, I feel, is like these outfits and whatnot, they're not exactly apparent. So like the monk outfit. Why am I sleeping anyway? Because we're traversing the land. All right, so you will remember where we went to the spice merchant and saved him from those uh, roly polies. It's in that room where this medicine is. Pardon me. So we'll go ahead and meander over there. It's a shame I couldn't have picked it up when I tried earlier. I know there's at least one shelf I can inspect in there. Damn spice merchants thinking they rule the galaxy. I know they have these underground ruins that no one can enter except for the dad for whatever reason. Unless you're strong enough to push him out of the way. How strong are you things now? Bed. 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 So bed. He's just trying to defend itself. Hasn't even tried to attack yet. Oh, five damage, my goodness. Oh, he sonic to me. No. No sonic. Must be in that left right hand one. Bed. Got better at swords. Good. No Sonic. Oof. You received clothes. Thought you said it was supposed to be in this place. Let's see. Uh huh. You'll need to get some herb. It's located in the storeroom of the spy shop. The second part is to deliver a letter. Okay, so I got a clove. Is that what we needed? He said Amazonia. Well, I guess we'll find out. Maybe that's like the scientific name or another name for a clove, right? Hmm. Or maybe there's more stuff in here and I just don't realize it. Hmm. I don't see any other places it could be. 
There's no shelves or anything. Just textures on the wall. There was that way up there. I wonder where that goes. To Nowheresville. Very good. Glad I went up here and investigated. Alright, mate. <laughs> He's looking back there. Of course. You guys don't have anything else for me to get, right? Why can't I talk to you? You got more of those herbs. What is this again? You have coffee, but I can't... I probably have to get water for that. Sounds like a lot of work. Sounds like a lot of work. That's where the... That's just one of the cosmonauts things. Nope. Alright. Let's see if this is what we need. If it isn't, I'm going to be somewhat upset. What are you waiting for? <sighs> this is why I think about that. Bad. All right, let's see how fast I can go if I don't save. All right, back to Bamboosville. No savings. So yeah, that is much faster. We'll do that in the future. Please be what I need. Please say clothes are the fucking secret ingredient of being a thief. Or I will be platinum upset. Excellent, you found it. Now, for your second trial. Deliver this le letter to a person in ages. By reading minds, you will tell... You can tell exactly who is expecting the letter and who has sent... Who has a letter to send. I've asked someone to send me a thief letter. I see. Alright. Fantastic. We'll go ahead and fast track this by looking at the guide again, because... Trying to get this done fairly quick. Alright, let's go back to ages. The secret ingredient is crime. I know, he's just making shit up. Yeah, thief's letters and stuff. Let's see. No, oh, okay. That one's easy enough. This one's actually really quick. We just need to get to the village. I mean, this is sort of a stupid quest. It's like, okay, go to the island and talk to everyone, and then you'll know which one's a thief. It's all, okay. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> you heard me. Talk to everyone, and you'll find out who is a thief. Don't click on me. The coconut. Get the coconut. Fuck you, spider. Now there's another coconut, but I don't feel like being bit. Tree punching? <laughs> now I just have to click on with my uh, lethal powers and then I can do it. Maybe you reside up there. If we talk to this woman, a letter, I wonder who it's from. Oh my. But why? So many thief dots. Huh? Hmm. A mom? Why is your face all red? Oh. Oh, um. I, well, kids, you gotta love them. Er, do you think you could ta take him a message? I hope you get well soon. And I count the days until I can see you again. Please, if it's not too much trouble. Oh, and never mind. I've already asked you, asked you for too much. Thank you. Cool. So apparently that guy made a daughter with this woman, as far as I can infer. Hmm. 
Not even sure if that was faster than just walking back to the ship, especially since I'm gonna have to get that decal back. Alright, back to Bamboosburg. I know others just staying out in the sunlight, and she's the only one who's shady. My god. You're right. Oh good, he actually did it right there. What a gent. Alright, and this should get us the thief's clothes, unless I've been lied to. So, just a review. You had to go outside of a pyramid, see a random fucking bird, click on that random fucking bird, get a map from that random fucking bird, and then go on to this grand quest <laughs> to get the thief's clothes. You took care of it, eh? Now, for your final trial. You see that treasure chest? Inside is the costume of the true thief. Open the chest, and the costume is yours. <laughs> Out of my way. Actually, the kid. Out of my way. You just do this here, and then this, like this. Oh, that's weird. Like this, and this. There you go. We did it, Grandpa. It's open. I opened it all by myself. Grandpa? Grandpa? Oh. Grandpa! Is that that they made this whole sequence just for this man dying? You know, that, that, that says something about the creators. I... I can't do it. No, I can't let Grandpa see me crying. I should be able to do this by myself. I'm going to become a thief when I grow up. The costume's too big, so you can have it. But once I'm a master thief, I'll find you and steal the costume back. I really mean it. Okay. Shadow Thief. The man in black. Shadow Thief. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Snatch acquired. Whoa, man. We look like some kind of anti-hero. We look like Dante. Oh, my God. Contact for the Nintendo DS featuring Dante from the Devil May Cry series. Wow. All right. Now for the next thing. Out of, out of order? What do you mean out of order? Oh, hey, you're back. Did you finish what you came to do? Hmm, yes. What? Well, that's most definitely sad news to receive. That poor little guy, I hope he's okay. Make sure to you visit him once in a while. Is there tragedy on your planet too? Well, look, Yagami, we need to keep going. We aren't shipping out just yet. Go have a bath. Oh, we're shipping out. This is Yagami. Next place we're going is Kaldoxa. This is the last thing I want to do for this broadcast, so I can show you what I'll be doing to actually grind up levels. Whoop, don't, don't fight it. Alright, let me find out the information on this so I can remember exactly where it is. Uh... That's what it's called, right? What do you mean? God damn you. Sorry. <laughs> you know, the problem with this thing being called Contact is it thinks I'm trying to contact Nintendo. No. I want to actually look up where everything is in the game. If you don't mind. Okay, we'll try this a different way. What we're trying to find here is a enemy known as the Super Cow. Yes, you heard me right. The Super Cow. Also, I did not mean to go in there. Let's go and throw down a quick save right there. There's an enemy that is incredibly powerful that you can cheese. 
and uh, when you do so, you get a lot of points. Also, I'm not sure who you are. I'm Amanda, nice to meet you. What's your name? Yagami, that's a cool name. What do you like? I'm in the flowers, I guess. My type? Oh, somebody brave, I guess. Uh, I guess guys who are kind? <laughs> this is embarrassing. I don't, don't remember if there's a romantic subplot to this game, but it almost cer certainly seems like it. Hey, I wonder if that girl who likes bad boys would actually like me as a thief. I'd have to probably, you know, become evil too. All right, now where was it? Yeah. Let's see, contact. Okay, you guys got to mention the cow, right? There we go. Uh huh. Here we go. All right, head into the ruins. Out the exit directly north. North through an empty room. Head east to the next room. Light exit to the north. Then through the save room. And then east to a set of pickable doors. Okay. So let's enter the ruins. That should be over here. The only reason I'm looking at the guide here is because I don't have a whole lot of time. We gotta get this done pretty quick. Because I will would like the grind before next session. So let's see. I enter the ruins. Head directly north. Okay. Hmm. There we go. Through the empty room. Head east to the next room. Through the lighted exit. Hmm. Do, 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 do. There's like no reason you'd ever come back here, by the way. Through the lighted exit. Is that one the lighted exit? Lighted exit to the north. Pardon me? Ah, that's definitely the exit. Here's our save room. Through the save room, then ease through a set of pickable doors. Alright. This thing will fucking murder ball me if I do this wrong. Here we go. Oh no! Hooray! You picked the lock! Can't open it yet. Okay. Well. <laughs> We're gonna do something else real quick. Let's go ahead and go to you have lost the match. Let us go to the, uh, whatchamacallit. Let's go to Habara real quick. Maybe I can get enough levels by picking some of those chests that actually get some progress. I hope so. Of course, there'd be one that I just don't have the skill level to get into, because that's how it would be. All I want to do is show the viewers a cow, folks. Or a game. Come on. I'm not asking for anything too crazy. At least we can see what's in the box. My fair game. Now I just gotta remember where those were. Hmm. Hey, you like bad boys. I'm I'm totally bad now. Hey Yagami. Oh, she's just saying hello to me now. First name basis. Well, only name basis, really. Throw us a stinking bone here. All Lethal wants to do is punch a cow to death. Is that really that bad? Come on. Thankfully, we shouldn't have to worry about just random rooms full of painful bullshit. And on the other side of it, I suppose if I'm going to grind anywhere, if I can't reach that thing, it's gonna be here. Here we go. Hooray! Blue Eyes number four. For now, I need shelter. He felt around in his pocket for something. It's still there. 
confirm it, confirm it, confirming it, he began to stumble off. <sighs> My fucking eloquence has really suffered in these early, early morning streams, I tell you what. Hmm. Pick the lock. Why is that? Terry the Kid. What? What is a Terry the Kid? Terry must fight. Stay careful. Okay. <laughs> the fuck does that do? Apparently it's a Kaniku Man character as well. That's good to know. That's good to know. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. I don't get it. <laughs> it's a baby goat. <laughs> I guess I feel enriched. Okay, there's a couple of other things we could unlock in here, so we'll take a look. Oh, there's one up there. Nope. Don't do it. I can't open that yet. Son of a bitch. General act <laughs> General occupation and aptitude test? Maybe. Alright, looking for more chests. Where are the chests at? Where y'all chests at? There's one. Can I go through this wall? No. Alright, punk. I need you to attack the ones right in front of you. Thank you. Oh, I'm frozen! I got some juice. It's good. All juiced up. This is Fallout, right? Yes. Hey, I got better. That's good. Keep failing at it. No, don't do it. Good. Keep failing at it. Maybe I'll just go ahead and exit out as I start to do it. Come on, fail at it. Fail at it. God damn it, I accidentally got it. <laughs> I got plum siblings, huh? Is this like a video game? I think so. I think these are video games. Jump, hit, keep the block. Keep the block until needed. What? Test sailed, <laughs> failed successfully. Ah! Refrigerators. Refrigerators. Ah! Oh. Trying to give me the suck. Do not want it. I would think so, Daikami-sama. The only other way I can figure out to get out of this current conundrum we're in is to uh, try to get a decal. You can get ones that upgrade, like, your jobs, so you can become better at cooking or better at, uh... better at lockpicking, in this case. Hmm. Not exactly sure... Oh, I guess I could use my moves, huh? Yeah, that's an idea. That's the ticket. Fail. Fail. That's not what I wanted you to do. Okay, so that's an idea too. I could use my snatch ability to probably grind this up. Unfortunately, I need more TP for that, of course. Oh, I get to do this again. How fucking gracious of you. <laughs> Alright, so that's what I'm going to do off camera. I'm going to probably go to the Caldoxa and uh, steal from a bunch of things, get behind that door, and I'll demonstrate the cow next time. Don't worry. You'll get a cow killing next time for sure. 
So until then, folks, this has been Contact for the Nintendo DS, and I'll see you next time.